Hey guys, how are you? Mike here from the Wellness Bucket. Thank you so much for joining me once again for another Motivational Monday message. I'm so happy you're here and here we are, new week, um, new Motivational Monday message and new surroundings. I'm finally in my new place here in Southern California. So glad to be here. But anyways, it's a whole different story. Let's roll into this week's um, message. This week's message is actually, um, what is a reasonable, reasonable amount to pay for like health and fitness services, whether it's you know, wellness coaching like I offer, whether it's personal training like um, I used to offer, um, or any kind of health nutritional plan, what is a reasonable price to pay? What's too much? What's too little? You know, I've gotten that question a lot, um, even asking about, you know, my own wellness coaching, you know, what I charge and if that's too high, too little. So that's a great question, great question to ask because this, you, you'll see prices all over the place out there, right? Some as little as 40 bucks for training, some charge as much as 500 for the hour. So, you know, what is a reasonable price to pay? Well, this, it comes down to one thing and one thing only. Before we even look at price is what is your commitment to making it happen? That is number one. And I can tell you now, if your commitment to stick into the plan, whatever plan it is you purchase, um, if the commitment isn't there, do yourself a favor, save yourself the money and don't buy anything. Because I, this is just being honest, is you're gonna be just throwing money out the window if you buy the best plan in the world for a thousand bucks or whatever, $40, but if you're not following through on it, it's worthless. So that's number one. So first and foremost, get your mindset right, get your commitment right. Um, and you can learn how to do that. Go on, on to the, the wellnessbucket.com website. There's plenty of information on there as far as how to first cultivate the right mindset to be successful. So that's number one. Make sure your mindset is, is where it needs to be. If and when it is, then let's talk about price. Um, as, far as, as far as pricing, it's, it's really, it really comes down to this. What are you comfortable with? Like picking a plan that you are comfortable with. And two, one that you can stick with. Because for the most part, they're all going to work. They're all going to work. Some are designed better than others, but for the most part, if you follow them the way they are designed, they are designed to work. The question is, are we working? We need to do the work. If we're doing the work, we're going to see the results. And again, like I said, some are laid out better than others. Some cost more, and just because they cost more doesn't mean they're better. But at the end of the day, it's, again, are you committed to doing the work? Whatever plan you buy, are you committed to doing the work? If you are, if your mindset's right, then go ahead and pick the one that is right for you and the one you know you can stick to. Those are the two biggies, right? The one that's right for you, that just feels right for you. You're looking at it and it feels right and that you know, if it's asking you to do X, Y, and Z, you are able to do it and are committed to doing it you know, day in, day out, week in, week out um, on a consistent basis. So that's the answer, guys, as far as, you know, hey, what's a reasonable price to, price to pay for wellness coaching, personal training? Whatever health and wellness um, service is out there, um, that, is, uh, that is how I would approach it. And if you have any questions, whether it's you know, working with me or whether you're considering working with someone else, I'll, I'm more than happy to help um, make sure that it's something that is right for you based on how it's designed. More than happy, send it my way. Reach out to me. I'll definitely help you uh, in any way I can. It's mike at thewellnessbucket.com. Um, that's this week's message, guys. I hope it helps. I hope you're doing wonderful. I hope you have a great week ahead. And until next Monday, cheers. Cheers.